Welcome back to Seekers of Wellness and to this short vinyasa flow we're going to do together. Today we're going to focus a bit more on our hamstrings and our legs, bringing a lot of focus into a bit of balancing and really strengthening all the asanas we're going to do. Let's start just in a seated comfortable position, either cross-legged or just kneeling down. And we're going to start with some stretching of the upper body first. All right, whenever you're ready, just bring both arms overhead, clutch your hands, then bring one elbow to a bend and drag it towards one side. Just starting by opening up the shoulders and the underarms and overarms. Then slowly switch side, bring that behind the head. Slowly bring both arms to the front and then release down. Coming into side bend, reach towards the left, open up that right arm to the sky. Inhale and exhale, switch side, side bend towards the right. Then inhale, come center. We're going to find our tabletop, knees and hands onto the mat. And you're stacking, making sure that our wrists are right below our shoulders here. Same with the hips and knees as well. Then when we come here, we're going to arch our back and sit back down into child's pose. Exhale, curve your back, come up tabletop. A few more like this. Take it with your own breath cycle. Moving with the flow of your breath, letting it guide you through today's practice. Really becoming aware of your breathing pattern. Last one here. Come up, meet me in tabletop. Tuck the toes under and step it up to downward facing dog. Since this is our first downward dog, feel free to do any movements that feel good in your body today. Making sure that we're focusing in on lengthening the spine here, creating space between the vertebras. Maybe that looks different to you. Maybe we need to bend our knees to heighten and lengthen the tailbone to the sky. Or maybe we need to lift off the heels off the mat. Whatever variation that works for your body. Take two more deep breaths in here. Then we're going to start our vinyasa. Pull forward to high plank. Lower down with your knees. Come into mini cobra. Lift off that chest. Bring the elbows through the back to the mat. Then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. From here, swing that right leg skyward. Heel pointing up, toes pointing down. Then bend that knee, plant it in between and frame your foot with your hands. Lower the left knee down and we're coming to our low lunge. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Two more like this. Exhale. Inhale, low lunge. Lift your shin as you come front. Exhale, fold over that front leg. Inhale, this time we're staying in our low lunge. Tuck the back toes under of that left foot. Lift off the knee and we're coming into our runner's lunge here. Bring your left hand onto the mat as you reach that right arm to the sky. Coming into a twisted runner's lunge. One more deep breath. Then exhale. We're lengthening that front leg. Coming into a modified triangle pose here. Pyramid, sorry. Now, as we're holding this here, we might need to lift off the heel, off the mat. That's totally fine. Find that variation that works for your body. As we try to slightly draw the right hip back, squaring out both of our hips here. Hold it for one more deep breath. Then we want to shorten our stance of this pyramid pose and come really with the left foot just behind the right. Inhale, halfway lengthen, lift off your upper body. Exhale, fold over that front leg. Now inhale, lift off to our pyramid, to our warrior three. 
lift off the hands. You can gaze to the mat here or whatever feels comfortable, just hovering over. Now exhale, plant your hands down, come to standing split, reach your foot up. Exhale, plant your foot beside the right one and we're in here, our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. This time releasing and finding ragdoll, swinging with our upper body from side to side. Inhale, arms come up overhead, standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, arms overhead, reach up high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, step it back to our high plank. Find your vinyasa. Upward facing dog or mini cobra. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. We're switching side, lift that left leg up to the sky, heel pointing sky worth and toes down to the ground. Bend that knee, face it front and frame it with your hands. Lower the right knee and we're coming down here. Into our low lunge, we're framing that front foot still with our hands as we lean back into that half split. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, framing and leaning over the front leg. Two more. Exhale, half split. Inhale, low lunge. Last one, exhaling. Inhaling, stay in the low lunge. Tuck the back toes under, lift off that knee. We're coming into a runner's lunge. Plant that right hand onto the mat as you reach the left one to the sky. Coming in for that twisted runner's lunge. One more deep breath in. Exhale, frame that foot again. Extend your front leg. Maybe we need to lift off the heel of that right leg. Staying here, see if you can gaze towards the front and refold over the front. One more deep breath in here. With the next one, we're shortening the stance, coming with that right foot just behind the left. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold over that front leg. All right, inhale, coming up to our warrior three. Lift off the hands here. Keep engaging that back leg. Then exhale, hands to, to mat, and we reach and extend that leg to the sky. Exhale, slowly bend that leg and plant it beside the left foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, curve your back, coming to a standing position. Exhale, release, reach your hands by the side of your body. Take one deep breath here. Then inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step it back, find your vinyasa. Either come up to our upward facing dog or the mini cobra. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. All right, this time swing that right leg up to the sky. Come into our low lunge, lower that right leg uh, down. Then inhale, arms overhead this time, our low lunge. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, over the head. Finding our twist here, we're reaching that left arm to the front as we reach the right to the back. Keep gazing over the back. Inhale. Hands overhead, exhale, twist. Two more. Inhale, bring both arms, framing that front foot. Step it back, downward facing dog. Just switching side here instantly, reach that left leg to the sky and face it to the front. Bring the knee down and we're coming into low lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, both arms up, finding our twist with the exhale. Gaze over the back arm. Inhale, exhale. Two more.
All right, inhale, arms overhead, exhale, front that frame, uh, front, frame that front foot and step back, downward facing dog. Now take your time here to reset your body, to really find your breath again. Taking one deep inhale through the nose. Release it all out. Follow your own breath. Can you see or notice any change in your breath as you've started your practice today? All right, reach that right leg up to the sky, swing it to the front and plant it in between your hands. Lower that knee, exhale, come into your half split. Hold it here, two more breaths. Inhale, low lunge. Reach up for your twisted runner's lunge. Exhale, plant your hand back down. Push back to your modified pyramid. One more time, step it up. Just beside shortening that pyramid. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold over that front leg. Inhale, reach up to warrior three. Hold it, one more deep breath in. Then exhale, standing split. Let that leg down, plant your foot beside the other, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up standing, hands overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lengthen, and then step back to your vinyasa. Find that variation that works for your body. We meet in downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, reach that right uh, le left leg up to the sky, bend the knee and plant it between your hands. Find your low lunge, arms overhead. Extend your front leg coming into the half split. Hold it, two more deep breaths here. Inhale, push to your low lunge, lift off that back knee and come and find your runner's lunge with a twist. Exhale, plant your hand back down, find your modified pyramid pose. Take one deep breath in, exhale it out with your next breath, plant that right foot behind the left, inhale, halfway lengthen, exhale, forward fold over the front. Inhale, find your warrior three. Keep that balance. Then slowly exhale, come find your standing split. One more deep breath. Then exhale, slowly lower that foot and plant it beside your left one. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Now inhale, curve yourself all the way up to standing. Exhale, release it all out. Close your eyes here. Take a moment for yourself to tune into the body again. All right, from here, put all the weight into your left foot. We're gonna find our stork. Bring up that knee halfway and open up your arms into cactus. Keep gazing to the front, find that focal point that makes it a bit easier with the balance. Now from here, slowly reach your arms front as you swing back to your warrior three. From warrior three, lower that back leg down and come into high lunge. Exhale, push out to warrior two, back foot points to the right. Exhale, find your peaceful warrior. Inhale, normal warrior. Exhale, peaceful. Inhale, warrior two. Now exhale, swing your hands down. Press that back foot onto the mat and find yourself in downward facing dog. One more deep breath. Step or jump to the top of the mat as you come. Halfway lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, curve yourself up. Exhale, hands beside your body. 
Push all that weight into your right foot. Find that balance and come into stork with cactus arms. Engage your foot here. Then slowly, as we exhale, reach arms to the front as you swing that left leg to the back, finding your warrior three. Inhale. On your exhale, plant that left foot down. Find your high lunge. Exhale, swing the foot out. Find warrior two. Inhale, open. Come back into warrior two. Exhale, peaceful warrior. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, hands down, frame that front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. From here, slowly come on to the knees, finding tabletop position again. From here, we're coming into that arching of the back again as you sit back into the child's pose. Again, finding that curve as you come up and arch as you move down. Connecting back to the beginning of our practice, seeing if we can come back to the same breath, slowing it down slightly. Last one. And stop here in child's pose. If you want, put your elbows at ease, bending them towards the side. Forehead comes onto the mat if we can reach. Try to stay heavy in your tailbone. Reconnecting to any intention that we might have set for the practice. We're taking this moment to feel that stillness within the body. One more deep breath. And slowly make your way up to seated position, either cross-legged or kneel down. We're going to finish our practice with a few deep breaths together, alternative nostril breathing. So bring your right hand up to your nose and put your middle finger onto the nose ridge. And we're going to use our ring finger and our thumb to alternate. So we're starting by breathing in through the left nostril. Close that left nostril and breathe out through the right. Now take a breath in through the right. And exhale it out through the left. A few more like this. Inhaling through the left. Exhaling through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. I'll let you continue in silence by yourself. And I will let you know when we're finishing off. Take one last cycle of this breathing. Finishing off with exhaling on the left nostril. Then release down, come back to your normal breath. Softening your shoulders as you sit here. Then bring your hands together in front of your heart finding prayer pose. Slightly bow your head down, forehead comes towards the hands. Take a minute to thank yourself for committing to the practice, for committing to yourself, 
for trying your best. And thank you so much for joining in to this short vinyasa flow. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I will post weekly content and yoga classes, meditations and breath work. So feel free to join in. I would love to have you on the little team. Uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Lots of love.